five skulls destroyed. Too bad it doesn't actually attack with all those skulls. And this might be more useful than slam. There we go. Now I have a nice spell repertoire. Don't worry, if I can't beat him this time... Uh, plenty of other side quests I can do in the meantime and then I come back. I never like having to do that, but... You know, you take your lumps and god damn, I... Going first is such a boon. So I need gauntlets, that's for sure. That was nice. <laughs> Not good. Thank you. I'm gonna hold off on Tribal War because not nearly enough to raise my defense to a good level. However, destroy all red gems on the battleboard, adding plus one to skull damage. Oh, if I enrage first and then do that, that'll do that'll be pretty good. So let's try it. Take another turn. And now my skull damage is insane. Plus eight makes all the difference. Of course, as long if he keeps getting all these lucky skull formations, I'm I'm just gonna quit. <laughs> of course, there's a lot of greens on the board now. There we go. See, he's gonna connect those three right there every time. I can't stop him. Okay, that was stupid. Of me. Oh, even more of it. Luck. Luck. Come on. Alright. Are there any skull combos you can make? No. I'm gonna prioritize defense. Just try and get through now. Nothing. It just went right on through. <laughs> Didn't care. And another turn. Back swing. Oh, not strong enough. That was hasty of me. Alright, um... I need more reds and yellows. time. One more attack and he's dead. That's game, bitch. Even if you block. 
あああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ Paralyzing me, you know, turning into stone. Man, there are the weirdest enemies in this little corridor. Disgusting. A horrifying cross between a rooster and a lizard. A roozard. Ah! Alright, what can you do? 45 defense? This is one hard haul. Petrifying gaze, like I said. Stops an opponent from moving and raises their defense by a hundred. Lasts for four turns. Does it ra raise my defense? Causes all gems on the battle board to be removed and reset. Does not end the current turn. Just a total board reset. Weird. Um, okay. Five damage. 12 damage. The venom from this creature causes damage over time. Wow. Okay. Strategy number one. Tribal Mark and Tribal Ward, absolutely essential for doing damage. And protecting my ass. So I need some greens. Skulls are nice too. Fuck, there are my greens. Okay. Um, yellow. Yellow. Lock your ass. Green, green, there. Alright. Uh, well, there are more reds, so tribal mark will be better. That's how you do it, people. wonder how many extra turns I have. I'm actually amazed he didn't block any of that. And increase my... I'll lower his defense and increase mine. Oh, sorry, tribal war. There you go. Increase my defense. Woohoo! Yeah, increases my defense. I have a hundred percent chance of blocking everything he does. Okay. That's not fair. How many turns was I? Huh. How how many turns was I stunned? Wow, four turns. That was some grade A bullshit there. Alright, um, I still have Tribal Ward and thing activated. I need to roar you to actually do damage. I never block anything anymore. <laughs> All right, uh, backswing and attack.
See, I almost did backswing and attacked him again, but I need seven gauntlets to actually use my rapier. Um, I need yellows. Barbaric backswing. Roar. Rapier attack. Go! One more attack should do. I just need gauntlets or skulls. And neither seem to be around. See, unlike before, I think I'm much... I think I'm... Use, utilizing the Barbarian's abilities a lot better than I used to be. I mean, I guess Pummel was nice to have just to be able to do damage whenever you wanted, even if it was inconsistent. Alright, uh... Alright, 10 damage. Even if he blocks... I'll do enough, but I'll warn him just because I don't like him. And the critical certainly doesn't matter. You always get those when it doesn't matter. But all right, let's ascend the stairs. Ooh, defeat the Rakshasa. As the hero enters the room, a low growl, cultured voice echoes through the chamber. A guest, how pleasant! Half man, half cat. This is surely the creature that has guess, guess. So afraid of sleep. Hidden treasure. The stuff of nightmares. They hunt children, stealing them from their beds in the dead of night. Holy shit. That's fucking evil. I start. About fucking time. Alright. Poisons the opponent, causing them to lose life. Ancient Longsword, 16 damage. Alright. Damage is applied to purple... Ah, see, this is an attack of an assassin. Assassin can use this as well. Damage is applied to purple mana instead of life points. Uses two purple mana per turn. Ends when purple mana reaches zero. But the real key here is the double strike damage. While stealth is active, any of the caster strike spells do double damage. That is big. Freezing Strike. Converts all blue gems on the battle board to purple gems, dealing one point of damage for each gem. Very similar to um, the assassin's abilities. So, for example, if there's like 10 blue gems, you do 10 damage. But if stealth is active, you'll do 20. Big deal, right? And darkness converts all red and yellow gems to purple. Okay. Uh, I guess that would be helpful for the stealth skill. Uh, meanwhile, what can I do? I need green and yellow to start off. I think she was only 64, that's a little low. But I guess it's like an assassin class and not a giant big brute class. Although, judging by the physical appearance, he could probably pass for both. Don't you, Mr. Tiger Man? Uh... All reds. There we go. Oh, green. Wrong one. Oh, well, there's enough greens. <laughs> Alright, I need more... Crap. That's right, I need more crap. Nine damage. More greens. Gauntlet, skulls, no. <laughs> There's a shitload of red, so... There we go. 